six. Yeah. He wouldn't even make my list. And not that there's anything wrong with Bo Diddley. I love Bo Diddley. Bo Diddley's number 41. Where did I see this? Was it on? Did you get this from Twitter, Ken? Uh, yeah. How, John, explain Joni Mitchell being number nine. Joni, a uh, heavy hitter. Yeah, she's a heavy guitar. hitter. She invented a bunch of uh, tune. Well, she didn't invent; they were always there. Some tunings that she wrote her songs in. Uh, I can tell you. Uh, here's my Joni Mitchell thing. Uh, two of the best guitarists in the world, probably who neither are on this list are Robin Ford and Larry Carlton, both who played on several of her sessions. You know what? Well, You're right. Well, They're not. When I, when I interviewed both of them, I said, and they both played with everybody. I mean, Carlton was Steely Dan's, you know, studio guy forever. This is I, why we're not doing this. I said, who's the best? <laughs> who, who's the, <laughs> who's, who's, who's the most inventive music, musical thing you ever worked with? And they both yeah. said, Joni Mitchell. Really? Yeah, both of them. And, and no, they weren't together when I did the interviews. Okay. Probably a okay. year apart or something. So, number coming in at number six and the countdown. Sister continues. Rosetta. Oh yeah. Harp. Yeah, I'm, I'm with no, that. Kenny, you're reading the list backwards. Well, yeah, it's a countdown. Yeah, it's a countdown. She's number six. Yeah, I'm fine we with start, that. We start with number fifty, Elmore James. Well, Sister Rosetta is a is a diversity pick on this no one. no it's this is yeah, why we not can't enough of her work is even known it doesn't matter if it's known that's not the point this of this is why list. we're not doing this <laughs> because you mr <laughs> fyi is going to put everybody under the table john you know who would i would move up and you might disagree with Ooh. me here number tw number 21 20 randy Rhodes. i would move him up to right maybe number 11 i have no everybody up I have no problem with Randy Rhodes. He's not, you know, I mean, again, it's a best of list, allegedly, or greatest list. You should have a favorites list. Like, he wouldn't be in my 100 favorite guitarists. I have a different so, list. To listen tell to. me who Elizabeth Cotton oh, is. I've never Elizabeth heard of Elizabeth Cotton was a, a country uh, female uh, early pioneer player. Very, very good uh, bluegrass. Oh, start, so helped invent bluegrass. On, okay. Cigar box. Can I really light deal. a fire? <laughs> I, I this, is, this, this, this is this is why we can't have this conversation. We're not going to do this. I'm being respectful to the. I know we're, that's why we're doing it for the council. Respect. I love Rage Against the Machine, one of my favorite bands in high school. But you cannot put Tom Morello ahead of Stevie Ray Vaughan. That is an outrage, John. I, I I mean, and I love Tom Morello, but he is not better than Stevie Ray Vaughan. Are you freaking kidding me? Anybody on here that can only play chords shouldn't even be on it. So well, that's, is it all about really the emotion? Either. James Hetfield. <laughs> James Hetfield, John. James bleeping Hetfield. Yeah. See, I I don't. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. What do What do you want from me? So you agree with me? Uh, no, you I don't agree. The there's list. there's guys on here who just play chords that are on the list. Jimmy Nolan is on here, number yeah, twelve. The I, have, edge. I have no All problem with Jimmy is Nolan. A chord. No, it isn't. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 John, you're our <laughs> Joe. You're, you're drunk. You is, back on the sauce. Hey, is is Prince yeah, accurately at 14? Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd that? place him Where's higher Prince? than 14. Uh, I'd move him up a little bit. 14. It's 14, Johnny. I'd place him higher than 14. I think I would, too. And I don't have Keith Richards on the top 20. <laughs> you know who I'm sick of? Whom? Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> well, he's I'm, been dead for 40 years. Just, you know what? I'm Who's that guy in Kiss, Anders. the lead the guitar player in Kiss? I think he's pretty Ace, good. Ace Fraley. Yeah, he's good. Uh, he was a monster. No, he wasn't. He Angus and Malcolm like Young are tied at number 38. Who's tied? Oh, Angus and Malcolm. Got it. Joe, you ready? Ready? For what? Boy, Clapton at 35. That's all you know is. what these lists are for. Dang it. This is a this is a marketing move on the Rolling Stones oh. because they know every radio show in the country is going to argue about this. Yeah, How can Clapton be number thirty five? <laughs> Way to go, Way to go I, Chris! Way to go, I Chris! Move down to about one hundred and ninety. Yeah, well, he wouldn't be on Kenny's list. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny would do a top two hundred, and he'd be two hundred one. He's ahead yeah. of George. He's behind George Harrison, but he had to come in and record all the shit that Harrison couldn't play. Wait, no, that's George? not true I either. Oh, I you know, see George. You, you, much like you talk about politics, you're talking about music. 
<laughs> not knowing about oh, it. Oh God, I love you guys. I want this. <laughs> I want this diminished, uh, uh, eliminated from my phone. Elim- 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 no, because you can't help yourself. You want it gone, but you keep looking at it. We're not. We're not. All right. Well, let's thing. talk about Trump and uh, yeah. Biden instead. <clears throat> oh, by the way, uh, that debate is tomorrow night, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm really I sorry, be, I can't be on the show Friday. <laughs> I will be at a race and not see one minute of that debate. Because none of you put the show first in your lives. Uh, oh. World of Outlaw, late model, much bigger deal in my world. Is it a go-kart deal? <laughs> go-karts. <laughs> go-karts. You know, now I just got like, an interesting, already I'm getting texts on our conversation. Sweet. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to. I'm being serious, John. Who's number 24 and 25? I've never heard of those guys. Um, I have to go back to the list. Hang on. James I'm, Burton and John Frus. I don't know how to pronounce his last Fruscetti. name. John Frus. John Frusconti is Red Hot Chili Peppers guitarist. Oh, really? And James <laughs> James Burton totally uh, is. He was Ricky Nelson's guitarist, and he was Elvis's guitarist. He was Graham Parsons' guitarist. Oh, oh, played Jesus. played on a million sessions oh, wow. just a month. I mean, monster. I bet, was, I bet he was a monster. He, he is. He's still alive. He's still alive, Joe. He had to be a monster. He's still alive. He's still alive. But would you give would you give the John Frusciani uh <laughs> more credit or Flea? I know Flea's a bassist, but he's no, obviously Flea more is, well known. Flea is, well, they're, Flea, I, he they're all good musicians. And goes on stage. Come on. They're all good musicians. You might as well have a list of the best tambourine. Yeah, but the worst per, <laughs> part of the red hot chili peppers is their lead singer. Here, okay. Now here's Here's and this is my last word. This is my last word on this. I'm sure it won't be. There, there. A guy just sent me a message, and now this says greatest guitarist. It doesn't say greatest rock guitarists. That's true. Yep, yep, yep. He says, "What about Glenn Campbell? What about Roy Clark?" Mm. I say, "What about uh, forty jazz guitarists I could name who I think are much better?" Gene Autry, huh? Gene Autry was a much of a guitar player. Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. He's Who, a monster. He was, who's the guy that you always drummer. see at the fair, Give Johnny? Break. Where, where's George Benson? I mean, I can you play know. my with my wanker better than him. <laughs> 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 who's the uh, John? Who's the guy you always see at the fair? Streamline is the name of the song that I really Marty like. Marty Stewart. That guy. He's okay. Good, right? Where's, uh, where's John Mayer? Where, where's Tommy Emanuel? Who's probably yeah. you know Tommy Emanuel's top five easily in my book. Where's uh, where's Clem Cadillopper. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Joe, you're starting to sound you, like Matthew. You really are. Yeah, really, pretty much. See, this is why I don't talk music anymore. <laughs> but wouldn't Marty Stewart be on here? I Well, I, you know, it's, well, I don't list. know what's greatest mean. What is greatest mean? Here. Tell me what greatest yeah. means. But first, this we need cracks. They can do cracks stuff that other people John. can't do. Well, there's a million John. guys that can do that on street corners, Joe. But stop that doesn't make arguing. you the greatest. Yeah. Stop, stop. Yes, Johnny well. Ramon is in front of Steve Cropper, well, Frank that's Zappa, just Mayfield, and Elmore James. Yeah, it's Give just me a break. Well, I'm glad you two idiots are getting this out of your system. Buddy Guy. I'd put I'm Buddy on the list for sure. Where's, where's he 27. At? He's 27. 27. <clears throat> what about Eddie Money? Eddie Money didn't play guitar yet. Oh. Doofus. <laughs> Actually, had a really good guitar player named Jimmy Lyon, who I'd put on you know, John, this list in front of some of these guys. John, why are we even entertaining the thoughts of a drummer? Hey, what size <laughs> do you use, pal? All right. <laughs> Go back to the bathroom and keep doing lines. Oh, back to the toilet. You at least have boy. that. I never played anything. I played the trumpet in sixth grade. That was about it. <laughs> and what about I was the recorder. I did that in third the grade. The recorder. But that was about it. That was the extent of my musical career. I love music, but I was never, uh, I never played. Hey, play. What about hey, why play? Would you Tommy have, Lee and the Shondells? Were you just saying that? Tommy, or would you Tommy really James and the Shondells? I'm James. just really glad that we, we did this list when we weren't going to do this list. So I'm proud of you. Well, guys. it's not going to be done on the show because it's not it's pointless. <laughs> Matthew's here, so we can stop can, talking all, about music. <laughs> all, your, all your lists can be your favorite, they can't be the greatest or best because there's no such thing as the greatest or best in music. Who was Brian Jones when he was alive? Was he the lead guitar player of the Stones? They both were. They both played lead. Uh, Brian played a lot of exotic instruments, and when he would do that, like Keith, you know, wrote the lick to Satisfaction. Yeah. And he was playing lead on that, obviously. 
Brian was still there. <laughs> would you have Dwayne Allman at 10, John? I know you love the Allman. I would. I would. Well, okay. You know, since you brought that up, where's Dickie Betts on the list? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, come on. But yes, I, I would. Or should have, you have it like they did with some of the others? Have it Dwayne Allman slash Dickie Betts? No, I would. I noticed uh, Mr. Dwayne Government died. Music isn't on there. Who's that? Springsteen. Well, he's a great guitarist, but it's not really, you know, the same kind of. It's not what we're talking here, I don't think. Uh, well, I don't know what we're talking because I like again. You know what? You can have you want a to favorite talk about list. Something fun instead of arguing. This morning, John, you might enjoy this. Uh, Joe, you'll probably hate it. Uh, I watched a documentary. I believe it was on Amazon called "Worst to First: The True Story of Z100 in New York" when oh, Scott Shannon came. Oh, that sounds fun. Florida, yeah, it was great. One more time, really interesting. About a radio station. Yeah, Scott Worst Shannon. Yeah. Worst to first, you said, Kenny. Yep, I gotta check that out. I was alerted. Speaking of Springsteen, to uh, what uh, everybody's telling me is a really good documentary about Steve Van Zant on. HBO that just started, or whatever they call it now, Max. Yeah. So I gotta watch. I watch that. Cool. Is, Kenny, is that is that one on Z100? Is that fairly recent, or is it is it been around for a bit? Uh, it's the first time I've seen it. Actually, it's on uh, uh, Prime. I don't know when it was released. I bet that's cool. I'm gonna watch that for sure. Yeah, I is was. Anyway, gonna. Your glasses typically go Scott over your eyes. Man. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Is uh, anybody going to watch the debate? Yeah. Uh, if good. if I'm in Bismarck, probably I will. I'm good. If I make it by then, which I should easily. We uh, we can also check things out online the following morning. Well, you can, yeah. but I I I, I, I you want to get a feel for the action. I think it's going to be. Uh, uh, I'm going to base my opinion on the debate on everything I read on Twitter. Yep. Yep. Me too. <laughs> We should do a top 50 debate uh, moments uh, based on what we've learned from Twitter. Right. <laughs> like, well, well, I it's heard. The list guitarist. Uh, <laughs> Dingleberry.com says. Uh, <laughs> Dingleberry.com. I guess it would be at. Right. <laughs> right. Um, Today, I'm very happy because for five days, I've been trying to pay my uh, income taxes to the state of Minnesota. The estimated tax for the second quarter yeah. wouldn't take my card for five days. This morning, it finally took my card. I was very happy. It wouldn't take your money, huh? Nope. I write a check and use a stamp and I put it in the mailbox. That would explain your guitar tastes. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> Oh, that's just, you know what, Joe? I'm with you. That was I, I want you to know, Joe, it's my last day before vacation, so I'm He's on. A I'm, well, John, I'm, I'm, I'm in rook mode. John, can I tell you something? Up. You I'm sat there mode. drooling for five days staring at your computer. I okay. put mine in the mailbox, and I got it. Noted. John, John <laughs> Jeff Beck is number five, and every time I see Jeff Beck, I think of your story of traveling Noted. to this concert. You know what? Where's Jeff Baxter on this? Where's uh, Larry Carlton? Where's Robin Ford? Come on. I, we can keep doing you this know, all day. Joe, do you know Jeff Beck, Johnny's Jeff Beck story? I don't. John, do I have to hear tell it? the town council? Because uh, I, I was I fell asleep up in Bismarck. Or no, I was in Fargo, the Fargo, Fargo Dome. It was like five bands and perhaps. I, you've part, only told us this about 50 times. But the times. council hasn't heard it. Party a little uh, too hard on the way down to Fargo because I wasn't driving. And uh, I stayed, a, out the window. stayed <laughs> awake for, uh, let's see, Pat Travers, Henry Gross and Pat Travers. They were the opening acts. Oh, and I, cool. then I might have had a couple more things, you know, at yeah, the concert. Yeah, yeah. And then when Jeff Beck came on, the guy I really wanted to see because it was right after Wired and Blow by Blow had come out. I fell asleep on the grounds of the Fargo Dome, which was outdoors. And I woke up, though, just in time to see Fleetwood Mac. So, yeah. <laughs> Drove all that way. Was very unhappy. I did see, see Jeff guy. later, though. I saw John, Jeff later John, with John, Stevie John, Ray Vaughan. John, uh, there's a chance that I may have slept through Nirvana at the uh, main room. <laughs> so, uh, you know. You I understand then. You I understand. Are you, are you guys remember my Nirvana story? <laughs> what? My Nirvana story. Yeah, we've story. heard it. Yeah, you <laughs> waved at your kids from school. Hey, we don't need to hear this again, Joe. It's about a hundred times we've seen it. I was right here, Joe. Joe. Uh, I mean, Monday Night Sports Suck is basically me hearing you and Pat take the same. Well, I still like hearing them. I think they're great. 
Why don't you uh, spark up your sad sack ass and let's do a show here, Suchi boy? Oh yeah, Fred, hello.